In this video, we'll look into the typical flexural tension failure of a reinforced concrete beam. The beam is simply supported over the span of 3 meters and it is subjected to the 4 point loading. The load is applied through the hydraulic cylinder. The load cell records the load applied. LVDT measures the mid span deflection in the beam. There are two strain gauges attached to the beam. The first one is at the top concrete surface to measure the compressive strain in the concrete in the top fiber. And the second one is attached to the steel in tension to measure the tensile strain in the steel. All the data is fed into the data logger. The cross section of the beam we are testing is as shown here. The width is 150 mm and the depth is 250 mm. It is reinforced with two N2L bars and stands for normal ductile 12 mm bars. Let's have a look at the loading and the failure mode of the beam. As we can see, large vertical cracks are appearing in the maximum moment region. We can also see a large deflection happening in the beam. The cracks are widening and finally the concrete crosses in compression and that's where the beam fails. This is a typical flexural tension failure mode where the tension steel yields before the concrete crosses and also it is characterized by large vertical cracks and a large deflection as well. If we look into the moment versus mid-span deflection for this beam, we see a very ductile behavior. Initially, the beam behaves linearly. At this point, the concrete intension cracks, and that's where the beam will start to behave non-linearly. And at the moment of around 28 kN meter, the beam starts to yield. That's where the tension steel starts to yield as well. And we can see a large plateau indicating a very ductile behavior. The maximum moment wrist is around 30 kilonewton meter and the maximum deflection in the beam is around 95 millimeter. It is a very ductile failure mode characterized by this large yield plateau. Now if we look into the strain plots, this is a compressive strain in concrete and this is a tensile strain in tension steel. As we can see the steel is yielding at 0.0025 strain at the bending moment of around 28 kN meter and there is a large plateau indicating the yielding of the steel. Now if you look at the compressive strain in concrete, it reaches a maximum compressive strain of around 0.0022. The strain gauss couldn't record the crushing of the concrete at 0.003 strain because the strain gauss might have peeled out because of the initiation of the crushing of the concrete. This is the moment versus mid-span deflection plot for the flexural tension failure. And if we compare this with the shear failure, we can see a distinct difference here. The flexural tension failure is a very ductile failure characterized by a large yield plateau, whereas the shear failure, as you can see, as soon as it reached the maximum bending moment around 38 kN meter, it abruptly fails. The deflection in this shear failure is very small compared to what we saw in the flexure failure. So the typical flexure failure is characterized by multiple vertical cracks. We see a large deflection in the beam. The steel starts to yield before the concrete crosses and it is a very ductile failure mode. Whereas the shear failure is a very brittle mode, we do not see any deflection in the beam and the failure is a very sudden and very abrupt and it is characterized by a large diagonal cracks.